The 2019 25th Anniversary National Legends Cars Championship is sponsored by 24 Hour Solutions. No problems, only solutions. Hello and welcome to Brands Hatch for the penultimate round of the 2019 24-Hour Solutions National Legends Cars Championship. The championship looks like it could go all the way to the wire. Miles Rudman at the moment in front, but of course we've got Sean Smith and Cy Haraway snapping away trying to get as many points as they can. Delighted to welcome Lenny Woodcock, a new driver to Legends yeah. Cars. What, what brings you here, Lenny? Uh, well, I come from the motocross background and uh, getting a bit old now for motocross. So I uh, decided to take this Legends up. How did you find out about Legends? Uh, a mate of mine used to race Legends, Paul Hughes, a long time ago. and He's an ex-champion, so he, he told me all about it. We come and see him years ago at race. And then I just thought, give it a go, you know, found out Matt and the guys. and. So hooked up there. Did you do any testing or was this weekend your first go in the car? No, I had a go, uh, I had a go in the car at um, Car Fest at Lavin, yeah. and, uh, but we only had three laps and I haven't unfortunately had no time to test or anything. So I understand you're a, you're a stuntman for, for a living? Uh, stunt coordinator now, I've um, been a stuntman for 20 years, yeah, so it's, yeah, pretty cool. It's good fun for this. <laughs> so you must get a fair amount of adrenaline in, in that job or got that over the years and are you getting the same sort of buzz out of, out of motocross and now legends? Uh, I think uh, all the extreme sports are like, you get more buzz, you know, this stun works work and you go and do extreme sports outside and you know, keep the work to work really. The great thing about legends of course is that you know, any experience can come in, you know, no experience, a little experience or vastly, it's a welcoming paddock for, for anybody. It's been super cool, you know, everyone's helpful in the garage and you know, Phil and all the guys, they're really helpful and no one's they, they pushed you away so it's really good. And near capacity grid for our final weekend of the 2019 24-hour solutions legends cars national championship and jack parker and miles rudman are on the front row of the grid two of the top championship drivers at the front rudman with a 560 point advantage coming into this uh, meeting he needs it to be 600 by the end of the meeting in order to secure the championship a race day early in van with nathan anthony starting on row two, just to his outside, Cy Haraway is third in the championship, Cy in with an outside chance as well. John Mickel is fourth in the standings, didn't mention him in the intro, but he's in with an outside chance as well, and he starts on the outside of row three. As we go, Legends Racing, and Miles Rudman starts as he means to go on on the outside of the front row. The black and yellow number seven in lead position, Jack Parker second, Cy Haraway third around the outside line of Nathan Anthony. Then it's John Mickel, multi-champion, I tell you what, that was a great start by everybody as we bump draft Will Gibson into the back of James Hall Morton on the inside line of John T. Norman in the 43. Down Graham Hill for the first time. Wide line there from Sean Smith in the black and red 21. Sean second in the championship. We won't really get a picture of the overall day until we've got through race two because this is, remember, a balloted grid as Will Gibson powers his way past James Hall Morton. James, of course, retired last time out at uh, Pembrey. Missed the last couple of races at Pembrey, but great after a holiday to see him back on the grid. And he's dicing now with Sean Smith. The 31 car is Rob Fountain. His brother Chris here today watching as well. We'll see if we can catch up with him later in the show. Former Legends racer himself. The, the two twins raced back in... 1999 and 2000. Will Gibson really on a move now and passes John Mickle with ease going into Paddock Hill Bend. Gibson through, makes up another place. John Mickle, maybe the championship, the run of championship wins that he has had slipping away from him as Rudman comes under pressure from Jack Parker. 
Jack looking for grip on the outside line on the way into Drew. It sticks to the traditional racing line through the corner at the apex, but putting Rudman under big pressure here at the moment. Cy Haraway still in third. Then Nathan Anthony Will Gibson up into fifth place. John Mickle is next from Rob Fountain. Sean Smith in 21. And then Marcus Pett in the 79 car now going around the outside of James Hall Morton in the first Steels 32 car. Then it's Dave Ward has the car for the whole meeting after Mike Borner's trials and tribulations. A little bit of uh, opposite lock there from Cy Haraway collects it up well, that rallying experience that he has coming to the fore there to keep the car pointing in the right direction, but it's Rudman versus Parker. I still need to look in the statistics to see the percentage of fastest laps that Jack Parker has had over his career. I think he might be the, the best scoring driver in that regard. Um, and certainly, is going to be a championship contender next year. Would have been this year, but had that injury which kept him out of the car at the Speedfest meeting here at Brands Hatch. As through on the inside line, Gerard McCosh from the guest drivers passes John T. Norman. Quite a few guest drivers with us this weekend, including some new drivers who are going to come and race with the National Legends Cars Championship next year. Good pass there, though, by Gerard McCosh. In car with Will Gibson has now caught Nathan Anthony. You can see the conditions that the drivers are having to deal with, and Will working hard gets on the gas car in the straight line and goes through on the inside line. Will Gibson in the group challenging for third place in the championship, and without a doubt will be a major championship contender next year again. John Mickle runs a little bit wide over the grass, goes to the number four car, but ultimately keeps it on track. And that's why John's a four times champion in succession, five times champion overall. Marcus Pett right behind him. Then it's Rob Fountain coming under pressure from Sean Smith. Oh, John Mickle still in with a shout, but coming under pressure here. Marcus Pett goes down the inside line, makes the pass on John, grabs another 10 points. Marcus is dicing for fourth in the championship with Will Gibson in terms of the points. Up front, though, it's still Miles Rudman still there. Unsurprisingly, Will Gibson has got the fastest lap of the race, and he's there, back of shot, the black and blue number 57 car. That was set on lap two, so really started as he means to go on. Coming down the hill, James Newbury in the two-meter car, and uh, he is past. James made his debut with us at Pembrey. Dave Ward not too far away from the front runners as well. This is the scene, and Dave Dave won't thank me for reminding everybody this was the scene of his uh, Legends Cars win here at Brands Hatch. Um, and still in the Masters class, delivering some good performances, him and Mike Borner, I think here could take the lead in the championship for shared cars. We've had three shared cars over the course of the year. As Will Gibson passes Cy Haraway, a decisive move down the inside line into Paddock Hill Bend. And Will Gibson goes into third place. Haraway down to fourth. Side by side there. John Mickle's been passed by Connor Mills. He's now about to be passed by Sean Smith. Smith indeed to the outside line. Gets the move done. And John Mickle drops another place. Another 10 points gone for him. He was metaphorically waving a white flag earlier on in the season. Perhaps as far back ago as Snetterton, John. Has had a number of things go against him this year. There is John T. Norman with Nick Bridgman. Bridgman looking to the outside line as they come into Paddock Hill Bend. That's a brave move. Nick, a driver whose confidence has improved. He's got a lot of experience now. Last year's uh, runner-up car. Steve Whiteleg raced that car last year. There's Mike Schlupp about to put a pass on James Newbury. James keeping to the outside line. Mike Schlupp goes through, but did he grab a little bit of curb there? The car gyrates, a little nudge onto the barrier, another gyration, and James Newbury finds himself off the track. Hopefully he'll be able to fire up and get going again. Will Gibson, here's the view of Will trying to chase the lead two. Now, another new driver, LB Charlton in the 15 and Lenny Woodcock, who we've already met in the interviews, and both of these drivers will be racing with us next year. LB pairing up with fiancé Daniel Clark, both in separate cars. First lady driver we've had in Legends for quite a few seasons, as Jack Parker now in lead position. Miles Rudman having a, a good look, starting to get into a little bit of traffic, and Will Gibson, fancy second place, gets a good run along 
Cooper straight, can't quite do it. And Miles Rudman's got the inside line. Rudman here has got such a good championship lead, doesn't really need to get too involved. They go past Lenny Woodcock, LB Charlton sticking to the inside line and has a little bit of a wobble. I think was, was looking to see the faster drivers coming through. This is, I tell you what, a, a baptism of fire, metaphorically for LB Charlton and Lenny Woodcock in really bad conditions here at Brands Hatch. And uh, with a huge field, there in 99, having his second race meeting with us is Chris Needham, the supercar champion of years gone by. Also in the mix there as well, the number 86 car, which is John Critchlow, one of the leading Scottish championship runners, having a guest drive with us this weekend. And ahead of him, it's Paul Simmons, the reigning Masters champion in Legends for the category for the drivers over 40 years of age. And John Critchlow, having a look down the inside line, goes through, good pass going into Paddock and look at the battle for the lead it's Jack Parker still there but Miles Rudman is very near him one tiny little error could change the complexion of this race and indeed the championship Rudman looking good value at the moment to try and put Jack Parker under pressure back with the battle between Paul Simmons and John Critchlow you can see from the camera lens how bad conditions are out there Critchlow's going to tee up the inside line as they go into Surtees. He does it. Good move. Textbook move there from John Critchlow. But Paul Simmons is fighting back. So coming towards us there, the white number 22 car, Florian Robin, the Frenchman, another, another stuntman, believe it or not. Three stuntmen racing this weekend. And uh, that car, a shared car for this weekend, the white machine. As down the hill comes Jack Parker and Miles Rubman still there who's got the fastest lap out of the two of them it is Jack Parker at the moment Rudman's still busy chasing and Parker goes to the inside line of the Frenchman who's keeping to the outside line it's a tricky part of the circuit to, to be passed to be fair because you switch to the left and then to the right now where is Will Gibson going to go Florian is uh, well he's seen Will Gibson coming through in his mirrors that was very neat driving by Florian Robert in the 22 car to move out of the way as James Hall Morton tries to go along on the outside line of LB Charlton. The lead trio getting closer and they're closing in on 43, John T. Norman, who's got a slightly deranged front bumper. So Jack Parker, this is the penultimate lap of the race. Parker goes through Druids. Fastest lap still with Will Gibson, which was back on lap two. He hasn't improved on it since lap two. Conditions haven't got any better, but nobody else has improved either. So the third place man still fastest and setting slightly better laps than the lead two. As Miles Rudman closes in now on Jack Parker. Here's the view from behind them. The third place car, Will Gibson, in the Blue Sky CAD TWG automotive car. As you can see, always racing in memory of brother Tim Gibson oh and sideways moment there for Jack Parker but that might be intentional because he keeps it pointing in the right direction very nearly getting his entry for the drifting championship ready but maintains the gap over Miles Rudman spectacular stuff from the Wolverhampton based youngster crosses the line and onto the last lap Rudman second now is Miles Rudman here just playing the points game he's 100 and gets 185 points if he if he stays in second Sean Smith, his nearest championship challenger, is on potentially 130 points. Nick Bridgman in blue is being caught by the leaders, and you can saw you, you could see there Nick taking a very wide line, and that is to just keep out of harm's way for the race leaders coming through. He, he's not getting in the way at all there. He's, he's hugging the inside line as they go through Graham Hill Bend and Lord Cooper straight. Good stuff from Nick. He's in 21st position at the moment and uh, the lead trio go along Cooper straight. It looks relatively settled, but we've still got some twists and turns to come. Parker, you can see, working hard at the car. Will Gibson trying to close in as well to try and get second place. It's all important for Gibson to try and nab fourth position in the championship standings. After this one, we've still got five more. 2019, 24-hour solutions, Legends cars races to go. But it's going to be Jack Parker who will take the win. Parker in front, Miles Rudman is in second place, Will Gibson third, that completes the podium as we flick back, John Mickle, he's in ninth place, Dave Ward here in car number five, he's poised to take the team car championship lead because Thomas Granger retired on lap two.
So all the work that Mike Bourner and Dave Ward have done over the course of the season seems to be paying off. They've got into the team championship lead as you watch Jack Parker on his lap of honour, if we can call it that. Miles Rudman second, Will Gibson in third from Cy Haraway, then Nathan Anthony from Connor Mills, Sean Smith in seventh, Marcus Pett eighth ahead of John Mickle. Dave Ward completes the top 10, then Claude Wattain and James Hall Morton, Robin Fountain 13th from John Critchlow, Chris Needham, Mark Beatty 16th from Paul Simmons, Mike Schlupp, Neil Shenton, Gerald Bakosh in 20th, 21st was Nick Bridgman from John T. Norman, Florian Robin from Phil Turner, then Bill Reid, Elby Charlton, Lenny Woodcock and James Newbury completing the finishes. Jack, congratulations. Fourth win of the season. Looked like it was a really close battle out there. It was a hard battle, definitely that. Um, the conditions out there are so slippy. It's, uh, it's, you just don't know where to put yourself and with each lap's changing um, every time you go for a different line. It's, uh, it's definitely hard work, but we brought it back home. I got first. Uh, it was a hard battle with Miles. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I can try and uh, redo the same results in the next one. OK, Miles, second position there and uh, you've extended your lead. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a good race and, and second position uh, was a decent position for us and it's more points in the bag. I uh, would have liked to have got the win, but uh, Jack seemed to want to take more risks than I did. So, uh, no, but I'm really happy with second place. It looked like a really close battle out there and changing positions a few times. Yeah, definitely. It's, um, it, there's just no grip, basically. So, uh, who dares wins, I think. So, yeah, it was, it's just really greasy everywhere. But, yeah, there's a lot of position swapping. OK, Will, congratulations. Third place and a fastest lap. Uh, yeah, that was a, a good race. It was just about trying to keep it on track. Um, there was no point taking any risk, trying to push too hard and overtake Jack and Miles. It would have been a, a risky move to get past them. So I'm happy with the points for third. I'm happy with the podiums. Good start to the weekend. Yeah, so how does that look now for your championship? Because you're still in with a bit of a chance? I've, I think it's going to be hard for us to win it, but our aim is to be top three overall on the championship. So um, we didn't lose any points to anyone that we're racing against. So that's, it's, yeah, it's a good start. Mark, I believe the plan is that uh, you're going to come along and do a full season next year with us. Yeah, uh, me and my brother Kieran, um, we've got two cars, so we're both going to join. We've been doing the Scottish Championship now for five seasons, and I think it's uh, about time we, we joined you guys and for some proper reason. I believe there's a connection with you guys and, and the former Legends National Champion as well. Yeah, actually, yeah, Chris Grieve, well, his dad, Willie, he runs us. Um, so I'm trying to twist his arm to, to join us back again, but we'll see what happens. But we've got the best man at the, at the helm running us here, so... Um, hopefully do some results next season. You just had your familiarisation session, How, how's the car going? Uh, Alright, I'm uh, running the MRS for the first time, uh, which obviously the tyres these guys use here. Um, we've been running Federals, a different tyre, which is totally different to these, so I'm just getting used to the tyre. It's haven't got as much grip uh, up to now, but totally different thing to drive, so just adapting to that, but we're going alright, going well. Race two with Connor Mills on pole position. Nick Bridgman to his outside on row two. Mike Schluck in the black number three. Paul Simmons in the yellow 51. Then it's Marcus Pett and Dave Ward on row three. This is a reverse grid from the first grid that we saw. So those guys did well to come through the field in race number one. And it's Connor Mills who gets the jump on Nick Bridgman. Paul Simmons in yellow to the outside line. Mike Schluck on the inside being trailed by Marcus Pett. A great legend start as they go into Paddock Hill Bend for the first time. Bridgman in third, Paul Simmons will be hoping to try and challenge Connor Mills, they're three, four wide, they've all gone through Paddock well, but a car off, I think that's Cy Haraway in the 83 car who slid off to the inside line, and that would effectively kill off his championship hopes here. So down into Graham Hill Bend for the first time, Connor Mills is there, just trying to have a, a quick check. I can't see Cy Haraway there. I can see championship leader Miles Rudman. He wants to pick off the 31 car of Robin Fountain. In van again with Nathan Anthony, Jack Parker up ahead. Parker has already caught and he's dicing with Dave Ward. Will Gibson making progress as well. Gibson was on the podium in race number one. Looks like he's going to do the same here as well. Bridgman on the outside line, Marcus Pett goes through in the 79 car, Marcus and Will both fighting it out for fourth position in the championship. That's a super shot as they come 
along the Brabham Straight. And Jack Parker about to nip through and go into fifth position on the inside line of Nick Bridgman, which he does. Miles Rubman not that far behind either. I'm just trying to do the maths here and work out whether Miles Rubman can secure the championship in this race. I'd say it's probably going to come down to the last race of the day. And he did outscore Sean Smith in the first race, and he needs to do it again here. And then really just, I think, would probably be enough for him to finish the final race of, the, of this day. And then we've got the battle for second, and third, fourth, fifth position in the championship to happen as well. There as contact on the back end. I think that was uh, certainly not deliberate contact, but John Mickle just touched the back of Sean Smith car and the 21 machine pirouettes around. And with Miles Rudman ahead of him, well ahead of him now, Rudman's going to have, if he didn't have already, one hand on the championship trophy. Now, John Mickle here, by my maths, needs to finish ahead of Miles Rudman to keep his championship hopes alive. So we've got to look absolutely everywhere. And here's the battle that I was talking about at the moment. Miles Rudman goes around the outside line of John Mickle. So Rudman effectively with that move, if he can hold that position ahead of Mickle to the end of the race. Now as Paul Simmons is on the gravel and Will Gibson through into second place. Gibson up into second place. And Paul Simmons did a superb job of coming through the gravel. And, and he's still ahead of, of Rudman and Mickle. As I say, that move there on Miles Rudman, very significant championship-wise because the five-time champion, four times on the bounce, John Mickle. Um, and we, we, we're surprised that he's not in with a shout coming into this last round as James Hall Morton goes on the grass. Well, you're a passenger once you get onto the very wet grass here, and, and James certainly was the scene of his race win here at Brands Hatch at the start of the year. I've got to say, I thought he was going to get quite a few more than that. John Mickle go, going opposite, locking there as well. It really is causing problems, isn't it? Going into the Surtees corner, it's John Critchlow having the issue there. We saw John having a fine race in race number one, one of our guest drivers this weekend. Miles Robin about to pick off. Paul Simmons looks on the inside line but Simmons has got a good turn of speed down the straight but will leave the gap on the inside line here and Rowe both going very wide indeed into Paddock Hill Ben looking for grip on the outside there in the wet still Connor Mills out front Will Gibson in second Jack Parker again has come through for yet another podium wondering whether Jack Parker might be the uh, championship leader on if we were just looking at the second half of the season points he's been so quick and uh, him and Will Gibson having another super race. And this is a good battle as well. Nathan Anthony in the Savan, busy challenging Marcus Pett. Marcus has got the upper hand at the moment. And so Marcus in fourth position, Nathan fifth, then Miles Rudman in the seven car, LB Charlton and Lenny Woodcock enjoying their racing, the two newcomers having a good battle as well. And remember, it's the, the first time for both of those drivers racing in the Legends Cars formula and conditions are slightly better than they were in race number one. Certainly not good enough though for poor old James Hall Morton. We didn't see whether he might have had a tap or a bit of contact to uh, cause that as Will Gibson closes up on Jack Parker. So John Mickle is uh, up ahead of Mike Schlerp, Paul Simmons ahead of him at the moment so John struggling with the still number four car at the moment as, as I was about to say earlier in the race it's a major surprise that he's, he's not in with a serious shout of the championship but I remind you he's been four times consecutive champ nobody else has had a Legends National Championship since 2014 that was when Dean Brace uh, did it as Will Gibson goes into second place Superb stuff there from Gibson. Will Gibson threw into second place and Jack Parker, is that a wake-up call for him? Because it looks like he's coming back and it is. And Parker re-challenges, looks on the inside line of Will Gibson to retake second position, he's got it. Superb Legends cars racing in the wet here. And Parker goes back. Parker with fastest lap again. Jack Parker on lap four, fastest lap, 63.69 seconds, back into second place ahead of Will Gibson. Jack Parker then 
in second position, having repassed Will Gibson. Super race between those two so far. Marcus Pett is next. Then Nathan Anthony coming under pressure from Miles Rudman. Miles again will be doing the sums on the championship points and, and we've got a car that is big damage for John T. Norman let's see what happened in car with John T coming along Cooper straight and a little bit of contact I think there's Phil Turner side by side into the barrier goes John T. Norman and as you'd expect safety car out that's a very badly damaged car we hope John T is okay Look, he's obviously out of the car there is John T he won't be happy about the damage I'm surprised we only had one retiree in race number one. Uh, and in this race, we've still only got the one retirement. Mark Beattie running a little bit further behind everybody, but out front, it's Connor Mills. Connor looking for his first race win since the opening weekend of the season. Rather incredibly, a youngster who is a very talented driver, Connor Mills. And, you know, this is a very competitive field, Legends Cars. Safety car has now picked up Connor, and uh, Jonty's car will be recovered. I'll go back to the point I was making about John Mickle. The last time John Mickle didn't win the championship was when Dean Brace won his second title. And uh, so we're talking about a different era. So if Miles Rudman can claim the championship, we are going to have a different era of racing, as under the safety car conditions, it is a win for Connor Mills with Jack Parker in second, Will Gibson in third. That would have been an enthralling battle to watch had the race continued proper. But it's Mills from Parker and Gibson. Recovery for the 43 car of John T. Norman. And Connor Mills picks up his first win since the opening weekend of the season. Jack Parker second and fastest lap. Will Gibson next from Marcus Pett and Miles Rudman. Paul Simmons sixth from John Mickle and Mike Schlurp. Nathan Anthony in ninth, Robin Fountain completing our top 10. Eleventh goes to Dave Ward from Sean Smith and Claude Wattain. Chris Needham 14th from Nick Bridgman and Neil Shenton. Cy Haraway 17th, then John Critchlow, Gerard McCosh and Thomas Granger getting a finish this time in 20th. Florian Robin was next from James Hall Morton, Phil Turner and LB Charlton. Lenny Woodcock in 25th from Bill Reid. James Newbury is 27th, non-classified but did finish on the road, Mark Beattie, a non-finisher, John T. Norman. Let's join Connor Mills with Jack Parker and Will Gibson, who are down in Park Ferme with Zena. Connor, congratulations. Third win of the season, but it must have felt like quite a while since you've been up on the podium. Yeah, definitely. We've had a lot of bad... Um bad luck this year uh, we didn't go to Pembury because of it and it's been it's been a long time coming there's been a lot of times we should have been on the top step but we haven't due to card issues and, and whatnot and other things going wrong um, it's good to finally have a good car underneath me again especially at Brands Hatch which is a track I love and be able to, to win like that is, is great. Jack congratulations started 16th on the grid finished in second. Yeah good race um, shame we finished under safety car would have been nice to uh, uh, give Connor a challenge to uh, uh, for the first but uh, it wasn't meant to be and uh, I'll take second we was quick that time we found a bit more grip and uh, we got through the uh, pack quite quickly so kept out of trouble cars in one piece so uh, I'll take that well congratulations third place um, but only a few laps to work your way up the grid yeah we didn't have much time uh, lost a lot of time at the beginning to Connor he just disappeared it was just trying to get through some of the the guys not quite so quick in the wet but yeah eventually got there Jack caught me at a hell of a pace so I was trying to work with him to catch up before the safety car came out. Um, I'm glad they didn't restart it because we had a couple of backmarkers between us and Connor and there's just no way we would have ever caught him. But yeah, it's good, two thirds so far, pretty happy. With it being the 25th anniversary of Legends, how appropriate is it to see two front runners from former days with us this weekend, Gary Thomas and Chris Fountain. Gary, I know relatively local for you, Brands Hatch. What, what are your memories of your time in Legends? Oh, it was a fantastic time and, and the, the racing was great. Uh, the competitors were great. Um, I really do miss it. It's, you know, obviously life changes and things move on and kids come along and we, and we, we just didn't have the time to, uh, to progress any further. But um, one day, uh, my son, he's 17 now, so uh, perhaps another year or two and we might be back on the track again. 
That would be really good to see. Uh, uh, and Chris, how strange is it not to be racing when, when your bro's out there? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh, I don't know, I feel like I've been there, done that. You never know, I might have another go. I, I did a bit of stock car racing again, um, quite enjoyed that. But yeah, I'll come and watch Robin when I can. But like Gary was saying, when you've got kids and other commitments, yeah, it can soon drain you. Did you two ever have any history on track? I know you were sort of joking about that before, but uh, what are your memories of racing with each other? Um, I think it was good. I mean, um, I remember a meeting at Lydon. I think that we was we was both right at the top end of, of the, the points at that time, and uh, I think you had a tough day. I think with prop shaft falling off or yeah, something happened, and, and yeah, coming off, and, and but it was it was it was brilliant. It was always. There was always action on the track, and it's still the same now, and and that's why that's why it's it's continued the time. And that's why 25 years later, it's still as strong as it was when we was racing. Final race of the penultimate day's racing in the 2019-24 Hour Solutions National Legends Cars Championship. And on the front row of the grid, Phil Turner in 247 with, on his outside, Nick Bridgman. Remember, this is a reverse grid again with the lower scoring drivers points-wise from races one and two starting off the front. So we've got the likes of Will Gibson, Jack Parker, Miles Rudman and Connor Mills starting at the back of the regular driver group. The guest drivers we're looking at there start behind and uh, at the very back of the grid, I'm pleased to say we've got John T. Norman. And what a superb effort from the everybody in the 43 team to get that car back out on track for the final. Well done, team. Great to see John T. out there as well. So it's Phil Turner and Nick Bridgman side by side on the front. James Hall Morton on row two with Mike Schlerp. Quick start by Dave Ward in yellow. Paul Simmons goes to the outside line, as does Will Gibson from the back of the group. And Gibson, I think he's up into fourth place. He's going around the outside of Paddock Hill Bend. Has he taken third? He's got second. Incredible. Will Gibson from the very back of the pack has come through and has got the lead. In one corner as they get to Druids. I've never seen a series of overtakes like that. Gibson with the outside of Paddock Hill Bend and the traffic superbly to come through in lead position. Miles Rudman is second. Then John Mickle. Mickle in third. John officially now is out of the championship. He can do no more than I think finish in second position now so John's four-year reign is over Jack Parker to the inside line we've got uh, James Hall Morton he's going straight on James I think heading pit bound across the grass sideways moment for Dave Ward Connor Mills in behind then it is Robin Fountain from Jack Parker Nathan Anthony Marcus Pett in the mix as well leading guest driver at the moment is the Belgian Claude Bertain into pit lane goes the 51 car Paul Simmons James Hall Morton with a problem sticking to the inside line you can see very clearly off the racing line so the young Yorkshireman being very sensible there joining the mix as they go back into Paddock Hill Bend but it's Will Gibson out front and Miles Rudman looks down the inside line Rudman's got the lead Gibson had a superb opening set of corners but Rudman goes through now all Rudman needs to do here literally is finish ahead of Sean Smith to claim the championship and Sean oh and we're going to get another safety car now let's have a look and see what happened in car with let's hope Jonty wasn't involved again and it's a big squirrely moment there for Florian Robin, the Frenchman in the Matt Roach, Matt Roach racing prepared car the newcomer to Legends Cars Racing I tell you what even the most experienced of drivers could have had a moment like that I thought we might get a safety oh we are going to get a safety car Claude Wattain goes on the inside line of Nick Bridgman and he's challenging Marcus Pett as well in the Gunmetal 79 car across the line they go safety car will pick them up it's scrambled from the sort of one third of the way along Cooper Strait so car being recovered the safety car picks up Miles Rudman who as we said only needs now to beat Sean Smith to secure the championship in this race he needed to be 600 points clear at the end of the day and he's well clear at the moment I think effectively looking down if we take the guest the guest drivers of course don't score points and I think Miles Rudman actually only needs to finish the race in order to win the championship but Miles being Miles 
rookie champion for two years ago. He wants to win the race and the championship at the same time. So getting ready to restart here at Brands Hatch. What a lineup we've got at the front of uh, this one with Miles Rudman leading the race. We've got John Mickley in the mix as well. Will Gibson there. Some of the guest drivers looking to try and come through. Claude Boutain in the first of the blue cars there, the Belgian uh, driver. But we go racing once again and it's Miles Rudman that leads, but Will Gibson wants to get a win. Sean Smith dives to the inside line of John Mickle. Sean gunning for second position in the championship. That's still a battle between those two. Nathan Anthony racing hard with Dave Ward. Dave and Mike Borner still just ahead in the team car championship of Thomas Granger and Ricky Leggett in the 26 car. Neither of the two cars have been with us all season. And uh, this is the sort of first time I think we've really seen them head-to-head -head this weekend. And Dave Ward's got the upper hand in the team trophy at the moment. John Mickle, having said about the overall championship, could well and probably, based on points so far, will win the Masters Championship for the over 40s. So it's not quite yet the end of the John Mickle era by any stretch of the imagination as Rudman and Gibson have a good race. Mickle gets it all sideways again. Cy si Haraway coming through the field as well. Cy, si, of course, finished a little further down the order than he would have liked to have done in race two. Put him slightly nearer the front in this one as Mike Schlupp keeps the inside line of Dave Ward. Then Nathan Anthony in van with Nathan. You can see Dave struggling with a little bit as he gets on the gas through Clark Curve. And on the inside line comes the, the van. Nathan Anthony was on the podium at Pembrey. Goes down the inside line here. Super bit of legends racing between the pair of them. And Nathan goes through. Giving each other room, which is good to see. You can just see Dave Ward's car in the rearview mirror now behind. As we go back to the lead group, Connor Mills having a better weekend here, which is good to see for the youngster. Jack Parker is in behind him. Then Sean Smith and John Mickle. John still hoping that he can nab second position in the championship. Paul Simmons up ahead of Dave Ward. Robin Fountain is next up in the 31 car. Things relatively settled at the moment as they go along Cooper Strait. And still out front, Miles Rudman in black. Will Gibson really putting the pressure on him. Cy Haraway third in the 83. Then Connor Mills, Jack Parker in 13, running in fifth place. And then the red and black car of Sean Smith up ahead of John Mickle. Significant battle between Sean Smith and John Mickle. Will Gibson, I can tell you, I, I said earlier on, oh, and we've got a problem there for Nick Bridgman, who spins onto the grass. Let's have a look at Nick's on board. Through on the inside line goes Chris Needham, and busy chasing, and was there a little bit of contact? It was only a small amount of contact, if any, Mark Beatty, maybe on the back end. But uh, there's Nick coming to a halt. He'll get it fired up and rejoin. There he comes, rejoining Nick Bridgman. Not the end to the penultimate day of the season he wanted. His target at the start of the year was top 10. He's very nearly there, Nick Bridgman. And I reckon if he carries on racing into next year, we're going to see maybe an outright podium, podium for him, maybe a win, and uh, certainly getting up into the top 10. But we've got, having said that, we've got a number of very quick drivers lined up to join the championship next year. So here's the battle for third, fourth and fifth. Sean Smith still trying to get in the mix as well. He's running in sixth place. And Will Gibson all over the back of Miles Rudman for the race lead. Gibson, I incorrectly told you, was battling for fourth in the championship. It was fifth place with Marcus Pett. And Gibson has, by my maths, got into fifth position in the table now by 10 points ahead of Marcus Pett. So he's going to be aiming to try and get onto the outright podium in our final race day of the season, which we'll see in our next programme. Jack Parker running a little bit wide there. Sorry, Haraway about to be closed in on by Sean Smith. Condition still not the best. It still extremely wet out there today. We were hoping for a dry day, but wasn't to be as Will Gibson tries to close in on the man who is poised to secure the championship. Now, remember that Miles Rudman here only really needs to finish, and that would be if Sean Smith was winning the race. So, Miles Rudman doesn't even need to be out front in this race, but he's certainly making a, a statement through the gloom comes Cy Haraway one of the early to mid-season championship favourites without a doubt 
Danny Woodcock, the Chichester man, in his debut meeting, leaves room for the lead two drivers to go through. Nice driving again by Lenny. So, Radman still there from Will Gibson in second place. Connor Mills looking pretty handy in third place at the moment. Connor could be on for the day's overall win. Could go to Will Gibson. Could go to Miles Rudman or Jack Parker. We've still got a little bit to play for in this race in terms of the overall winners. Claude Bertain looks to the inside line of Robin Fountain. Neil Shenton in the 35 car, busy chasing Dave Ward. Still in the lead of the team championship, Dave Ward. In car again, or on board with Will Gibson in the 57 car. Will deserves a win for what he's done today. He's worked really hard and... Uh, that opening lap, that's going to be one of the key moments in Legends Cars Racing when we play highlights back. That was a, such a spectacular start, superbly read by Will Gibson as John Critchlow goes past the 29 van of Nathan Anthony. Critchlow having a very good run here. Remember, guest driver coming through from the back of the field and well inside the top 10 here for John Critchlow, the Scottish Championship front runner but still Miles Rudman out front. Rudman with the fastest lap. Three different races, three different drivers potentially setting fastest laps, which again shows the very competitive nature of these cars. The thing I've always loved about Legends is that the formula changes very little year on year. It is equal, so it's, it's uh, relatively straightforward to once you've sorted your settings out to, to have a competitive car and race. Um, and of course they're not huge cars which means that overtaking is always possible look at this three wide coming out of the final bend at Brands Hatch that is what close motor racing should be Rudman still out front Gibson second Jack Parker now is ahead of Connor Mills and into third place they pass LB Charlton who's had a good first day's racing as LB I think she'll be pleased and Daniel Clark watching will be pleased as well as Jack Parker got a little bit sideways and Connor Mills nips past him back into third place great stuff by Connor Mills Tell you what, Jack's spent a fair amount of the racing today on opposite lock. That could have been the battle for the championship between those two, but it's a fine race to watch here in our final start of the weekend. And Jack going for the wide Formula Ford line here as he comes up to clearways, looking for grip on the outside line rather than coming back and taking the apex as you would do in a, in a single seater, maybe certainly in the dry. Parker trying to close down on Connor Mills, let's see if he can make the run down the home straight on the outside line, Parker back into third place. Connor Mills though knows that he's got the inside line, no, I tell you what, that was a great move by Jack Parker, well executed, and it's Miles Rudman still out front from Will Gibson, breaking clear, Connor Mills looks up the inside line, Sir Haraway fifth, sixth position is Sean Smith, still after second place in the championship, as uh, John Mickle will be. John Mickle was fourth coming into the meeting. We mustn't discount John as well. No drop scores, thankfully, in this championship. As Jack Parker goes through the inside line, Connor Mills is slowing. Mills has got a problem, and very sadly, that battle for third place is extinguished as Connor Mills pulls the car up to safety. That was a, a good move for Connor to move the car well off track, but not what we wanted to see. It was a race win for him in race two. On board momentarily with Nick Bridgman. Well, the lead drivers are pretty well spaced out now as we watch Will Gibson chasing Miles Rudman. Down the straight they come. This looks settled in Rudman's favour. Not only the race, but the championship. So it's Rudman. Oh, a little spin on his penultimate lap for Robin Fountain. He's going to get going again, but he's on the clearways uh, section past... Phil Turner goes Miles Rudman. Now Sean Smith trying to close in on Cy Haraway. John Mickle is in behind as well in the silver or chrome number four car. But Miles Rudman down onto Cooper Strait for the last time in the penultimate day's racing. He's going to sew up the championship a day early. By my reckoning, he's only had two DNFs this year. I have to double check that and that would compare with uh, what John Mickle achieved last year and indeed in 2016. Chris Grieve, I think, the driver who's had the least DNFs in a championship winning year with one DNF back in 2007. Haraway through on the inside line of Phil Turner. He's going to pass John T. Norman as well. Sean Smith goes a little bit wide, but we're going to have a look. Here comes the race winner and our congratulations to 2019 champion.
Miles Rodman takes the win. Will Gibson second. Jack Parker is next up in third. Jack Parker, I think, has won the day on points. Cy Haraway fourth on the road from John Nicholl, then John Critchlow. But there is the man of the moment, Miles Rodman ends a four-year winning streak in the championship by John Mickle to take the 2019 crown. The battle is going to be on for second position in the standings as we go into our final day's racing. But this round, the final is won by Miles Rudman. Jack Parker wins the day on points and Miles Rudman is going to be absolutely delighted. The number seven car winning the race and the championship at the same time. Will Gibson second, Jack Parker third from Cy Haraway and Sean Smith. John Mickle sixth. Then John Critchlow driving through from the back. Nathan Anthony, Marcus Pett and Claude Wattain wrapping up the top 10. Neil Shenton next from Dave Ward and Glenn Burtonshaw. Gerard McCosh 14th from Mark Beattie. Robin Fountain, Nick Bridgman and Thomas Granger. John T. Norman 19th ahead of LB Charlton. And then it was Lenny Woodcock, Mike Schlupp and James Newbury completing the finishers. A number of retirees in that one as opposed to the single retirees we had in each of the first two races of the day. Miles through the initial scrutineering and into Park Ferme and we'll catch up with him in a few moments. There is Will Gibson in second place and Jack Parker in third. We'll wait for Will to get his woolly hat on and uh, we'll grab a word with him in Park Ferme. But Rudman the winner, Will Gibson second, Jack Parker third. Rudman the champion, but let's catch up with second and third in the race, first of all. Another podium, you've got to be pleased with that today. Yeah, that was an amazing start and um, I wasn't expecting to go from pretty much last to first through the first corner, but a lot of luck, um, two cars slowing, but yeah, that's brilliant. It's been a great day today. Jack, congratulations, another podium today and quite a race for you. Yeah, it was a hard race. Um... Again, again through the pack, it was uh, tough conditions and uh, just so many cars on the field. It's just uh, everyone sticking to the lines, hard getting past, and uh, it was a shame I couldn't get to stick with Will and uh, Miles. They had a blooming start, absolutely fantastic start. Um, but we managed to get third, we crawled our way, and safety car helped. And it was just a shame what happened to uh, Connor on the uh, last uh, couple of laps where he had a breakdown. But uh, yeah, it would have been an exciting last lap. Three different race winners and three appearances on the podium, including a win for Jack Parker, who takes the overall victory in round 13. Miles Rudman, the new champion, is second from Will Gibson and Marcus Pett. Then Nathan Anthony, a tie for sixth between Cy Haraway and John Nicholl. Then Sean Smith in eighth. The championship table looks like this. Our congratulations again to Miles Rudman, this year's champion. But it's all to play for still for second, third and fourth. Smith holding second at the moment from Haraway and John Mickle. Here's the new champion, though. Miles, end, end of the day, what, what does it feel like to be the champion? Uh, well, I don't think it's quite sunk in yet, um, but it feels good at this point. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's been a tough year and I'm really glad that we've won it. And yeah, yeah it was a tough race, the final. Um, we just uh, <coughs> got going on the um, on the start, got a good, good start and got down to second after the first corner. And I managed to get the win and which sealed the championship. Looking back at this year, you became a father this year, and now you've won the championship. Years probably don't, aren't going to get much better than that. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, if you'd have asked me at the start of the year, were you going to win the championship? I, I wouldn't have thought that I was having, having a baby. I mean, I wasn't focused on the racing as much as I should have been. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm really happy that we have, and it, it's just a great year, a new baby, win the championship, couldn't have asked for any more. Got another day's racing to go. Are we going to see you coming back to defend the championship next year? Do you know? Uh, yeah, so far we're planning to come back next year, uh, all being well. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll be back to defend it next year. That'd be great to see. Many congratulations on your championship win today and that win in, in today's race three. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Cheers.